this old fashioned showdown's gonna mess up my intermittent fasting, and I'm okay with it. Sugar high. I don't think you're supposed to have a bunch of sugar, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I'll give you sugar. What's an old-fashioned showdown, you may ask? It, well, well, it's no, you have an old-fashioned. Yeah. Well, yes, you have one old-fashioned, <laughs> and then you have other old-fashions, and then they come to a party, and they figure out which one's the best old-fashioned. How many people do you know that have done a blind old-fashioned tasting? <sighs> I can think of zero right now, but by the end of this video, there will be two. I will say this. Okay. Technically... A lot all of, of us have. They're all blind. Well, because, yeah, because it's, you I'm go. I'm having an old fashioned. I don't know what you put in it. Right. You go to a. And let me go ahead and tell you something. Right here, right now, do not order an old fashioned at Longhorn Steakhouse. <laughs> you have very bad experience with that. Cut it off. All right. Just don't even do it. Don't do it. So, what we decided to do is take six mixers that are on the market for old fashions. And there's like a lot more than six. There's okay? a lot more than so six. So don't we asterisk us. Six. Don't yeah. asterisk yeah. us. Yeah, we just took six we could find, went to the store and bought them. None right. of them were provided as samples or anything like that. This so it's not a sponsored thing. Favorites. And I, this afternoon, mixed up six different old fashioned cocktails and I put them in sample bottles like this. Two things to realize. Yeah. One, we use the same spirit in every single old fashioned, which is early times so bottled and bond. That base spirit is going to be consistent. The second thing is, is that Will followed the directions. Right. So he made it exactly how the manufacturer would want you to do. No embellishments. Right. Right. So you didn't like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little orange. Well, peel. no, but here's what's interesting about that is that some of them said add a dash of bitters. Did you? And I did. I followed exactly as the instructions said. There's only one of us in this video that does that. There is only one caveat. The One of the mixers is the Buffalo Trace Old Fashioned Mixer that you can buy at the gift shop there. Right. It says to use Buffalo Trace Bourbon. Because we wanted to keep the same base spirit oh, for right. all of them, we did not follow that instruction. Right. But as far as the ratios, like three to one or a half ounce, I followed the instructions, mixed them up, and poured them into sample bottles. Now, But I'm going to say... Good on you, Buffalo Trace. Yeah. Stick to your brand. I like it. We're going to find out blind which pre-made old-fashioned mixer we like the best. Right. Do you like my shirt? Yeah, I like it. It's from Bell Mead Gift Shop. All right, so first old-fashioned cocktail. First old-fashioned cocktail. Well, <laughs> we've been drinking. No, maybe this is our first old-fashioned cocktail. Are we going to know, like, we nose it and everything? I'm going to smell it and see if I like the way it smells. Smells good. Yeah. A lot of orange on this one. A lot of citrus on yeah, this one. Yeah, it's, sure. it's, it's got a lot of orange. The, my favorite thing about an old fashioned is the oily, viscous mouthfeel. Like, if I get that, that's what I want. Out of the ones we've tried so far, this one is my favorite. So, we followed the instructions on this particular one, and I don't know which one it is, but I want to come back to it and yeah, discuss it. Sure. But I would probably go a little bit more heavy on the early times ball and bond or whatever spirit you put in this. It's it's the only bad thing I would say about this is it's really sweet. It's good. It's got a butterscotch thing on the back end. I know. It's a little unique. I actually that is am a really big fan of that. I'm out of all the ones we've tried. This one's pretty good. What is this? Oh, just water? This is water to clean our glasses in between mm. old fashions. All right, number two. We don't know what letter this is. While you're pouring that, I'm going to call your shirt out because you didn't slay the uh, the savant. Okay, so right out of the Ooh. gate, this smells way different. I'm so surprised that this is so far <laughs> off the spectrum. No. Yeah. Oh, this one tastes like honey. Oh, bother. This one tastes like mm. honey. Mm. I feel like the bourbon's cutting through a little bit more on this one. I still get a lot of orange and citrus, but... Um, this is a very good... This is very good. This is solid. So, I mean, I love an old-fashioned in the summertime mm -hmm. because it's it's hot outside. You got to throw a bunch of ice in it, probably fridge ice at this point. And so some of the times these pre-made mixes, if you got them in your fridge, are the way to go. So with number two, what's what's your takeaway from number two? Like, what, like why do you think it's better than number one? I... It, it's They're a little, it's so a bit, different, I can't rank them. It's a little bit less syrupy to me. Okay, that's fair. Right. Number one had really good flavor. Number two felt more like a cocktail. 
You know I what I mean? Like it, it felt more balanced. It already felt like I I had it in ice, if that makes sense. Sure. Now these are refrigerated. I did uh, refrigerate. Well, yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is this way one way different. Dark. This one is brown. This is wow. this is not. This oh. one looks more like an old uh, Manhattan, if you know what I mean. It does look like a Manhattan. That's a strong. Oh, this one tastes like a Coca Cola. A lot more cinnamon. A lot of cinnamon. Here's the thing, dude. I think this is a good cocktail. I just don't think this leans to an old fashioned. Right, that's what I'm saying. So, in an old fashioned showdown, it's got a ton more cherry, which leans towards the Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, it does. It, it does kind I of. I wonder if that's the one you that required you to add bitters. Two of them. And I'm not going to say which mm -hmm. did require addition of bitters. Is it a caveat? With that caveat, yeah, that's a, a caveat. <sighs> All right, this one's a little bit more in pocket. This is still darker than one and two. Yeah, one and two's color was a lot. It was lighter. very orange color. It, and it orange almost citrus. makes me think if you if there's a lot of color in it, is it a lot of like added coloring, like caramel color and things like that to try to spruce yeah. it up? But I, I'd this rather this is the it, least okay. sweet. Out of all of them, it, on the nose. This for one sure. doesn't smell like the others this, were hitting. This smells you in the face like with this like smells the, like a dead whiskey. Is what it smells like. It, a lot of them were hitting you in the face with the oils, of mm. the citrus. I actually really like this one. I actually, no, really I like it. Like it's this dead. One. It, no, it's dead. It's that's not, that's dead not, not last an old. For me. That's not an old fashioned. Oh no, 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 no! no. It no. really is an old. fashioned. You add another ounce of whiskey to one and two, you get that. No, mm -mm. no, that yes. one's, that one's in the pocket for me. I don't think you know what a pocket is. Uh-uh. Nah. It's it's very sweet. So it it is super sweet. I do like you said, we just came off the, the very spirit forward one. I the flavor's good. The flavor's very good. And we also follow directions on bottles. So there's another thing is that right now I haven't had one I've I've found that I'm like, mm -hmm. this tastes terrible. They're all in the pocket, except for the Manhattan one. Here's the deal, though. I love the Manhattan one. It's just a, it's, it's just a daggum Manhattan. We probably should have been writing down which ones we liked. Oh, no. Okay, for real, though, what have we ranked them? I think we did. This one's the winning. Then this one came. That's the Spirit Ford yeah. one. That one's definitely last. All right. We're on six. See, this one's lighter. So yeah, this one's way more in the pocket of kind of like what one and two were. One and two were still lighter. I feel like there was. Wait, what did was, you just? It was what happened? Like spilled it all over my face. I don't understand. Mm. Here's what's interesting too is a Get lot more of the, lemon on this. The coloring of each of these syrups was vastly different. I feel like this balance is the most where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what have we learned after six? We learned that we have. Six really good cocktail mixers that we just get to use moving forward. These all fell within like an eight to fifteen dollar range. So they're they're old fashions are typically good. easy to make anyway, unless you've right. got a bunch of garnishes. Like you want to do the orange zest, you want to put a Luxardo cherry in there, which it, by the way, highly recommend. It's a little bit more work if you're going for some. Here's what I like to do sometimes. It's hot outside. I just want to take a mix in some bourbon, right. in some fridge ice, in my pinky, and go, and I've got a cocktail. Pinky's down. I would drink any of these on a hot summer day with ice and just sit out there, just throw a steak on the grill and just go at it. I would, but I'm going to go ahead and just tease it. All right. Six for both of us was dead last. It was. It was. That's the only one that was consistent, by the way. Okay, let's hear Six it. was just let's dead hear, last. Let's hear your ranking. Mine is two, three, four. One five six, and I which is was, crazy because one came out super strong, yeah. ended up in fourth place for me. I was four two five three one six. Our first one is B, and B is bitter milk. Okay, so bitter milk came in fourth for me and fifth for Will. So, so while good, it. It didn't win the day. So this is a cocktail mixer, bourbon barrel aged old fashioned. And the recipe on it was one part bitter milk to four parts rye or bourbon with ice garnish with an orange peel. What's a Genshin root? Chicona bark. Okay. Well, that, that loses. You have a name like bitter milk, something that, you know, anybody on the across the United States can say. And then you, and then you're going to, you're going to do something 
so calling it a bitter a bittering agent. So what's interesting is that we were talking about how sweet this was, and this had one of the lowest sugars. La no, I'm just saying the largest ratios. It was four to one. We thought it was sweet, and it was more diluted than most. What is the letter on the bottom of the bottle? E for egg, and I put this number one. This is the Buffalo Trace proprietary old fashioned mix. Okay, so <laughs> y'all know our relationship with Joshua and Buffalo Trace. Love them. We love Buffalo Trace. I swear on my life, this was not, I did, I had no idea. This one has three parts Buffalo Trace bourbon. Now we substituted the early times bottled and bond for that three parts to one part old fashioned mix. And then this one you add two to three dashes of Peshad's bitters. So this one has added bitters on top of what's already in it. Right. I did that. What I do you think it. the reason is that they didn't go ahead and add the bitters if they wanted you to add it? I'm gonna tell you, Peshad's I knew is you owned by Sazerac, so they want you to pick up the bitters as well, is my guess. <laughs> It's like they have really smart marketing people working yeah, for them. They may or may not. They do. <laughs> they do. That's my guess. But I will say, I followed the instructions, and you ranked it number one. And what did I rank? You ranked it number two. So, so I, it's it's the winner. It's probably the clear. Winner. If you were no, if you were doing golf scores, because you ranked number four first, and I ranked number four third. So in golf scores, two's the winner. Yeah. Our third one is D D, which is Bar Smith. So Bar Smith is... Uh, I had that second. And that's the Manhattan one. And here's the deal. I said that I wasn't going to rank it high because it's a Manhattan. But then I thought about it and I said, yeah, but this is really good. Number one, Manhattans and Old Fashions, they're pretty close. Sure. sure. You know, just in the whole game of things. It's not like you're one drinking a hurricane and a margarita. One doesn't have a sweetener in it, the other does. Right. One has, <laughs> okay. you know, mm, vermouth yeah, in it, the yeah, other does yeah. So this, though, is two ounces to one ounce, so a two-to-one ratio. So right now, this is um, more syrup to whiskey ratio than we've seen in the others two. This one also requires a dash of bitter. So mm. I used Angostura, a da just a dash, one ounce of this, Two ounces of the bourbon and Grease, you ranked it at what? Second. I and, ranked it second. So here, so and, and what did I rank it? You ranked this as fourth. Okay. Here's the deal. Did pretty well. I ranked the two bottles that required you to add bitters to them. Mm-hmm. I'm sensing a theme. Here's the here's the one question when you get into all that is that if you're needing to add bitters already. Should you just go ahead and be making your own old fashioned with syrup, whiskey, and then your own combo of bitters? But here's the thing is that that's a three step process already. And so it takes right. a little bit of the simplicity yeah. out. Sierra wouldn't approve of that. Yeah. Let me see that one, two step. Da. Our fourth one is F. F. All right. So F, F. is with Co. With Co? So this is called the Ellis Old Fashioned. It says it's, and that's number four. Yeah, Madagascar vanilla, orange and bitters. The recipe on this one is a half ounce of Withco mix and two ounces of liquor. Yeah, so Will, you had this ranked number one. I did have this number one. And interestingly, and it start, the, that, that name and your name start with the same letter. This is all making sense. I thought that this one was gonna be number three. Because in the ingredients, they list cinnamon. And so oh, yeah. I was thinking, wow. mm. I thought that one is going to be cinnamon. That is it's definitely number three. But it was number four. So number five. Five. All right. So letter C. This is Eli Mason. Oh, this could get squarely. I ranked it fifth. I ranked it number third. And you ranked it third. Number three. No. Yep. Yeah, you did. I ranked it third. So this is a three to one ratio. This is one and a half ounce of whiskey to five to a half ounce of syrup, and that's what we did. We followed the directions, and that's what we did. For a while, I think the label used two to, to say one. two to one. Yeah. Now that's clearly a three to one. This is the better ratio. Well, three to one is the better ratio on here. All right, and so the final is A, which is White's Elixir. Do you ever feel like you're a snake in the grass? Every daggum day. <sighs> 
All right, so number six is A, which is White's Elixir. White's Elixir Old Fashioned Mix. It says, give it your says drink what? a puncher's chance. It's got a boxer on it. This is a three to one ratio. No other accoutrement Additives. needed. Yeah. yeah. Here's what's interesting. What Four out of six of these are from the Nashville area. Are you serious? Eli Mason. Yes, check. White's Chris. Elixirs. We just found that out. Bar Smith says Nashville and Austin. And my personal favorite, Withco, is from Dixon, Tennessee, it says. All right, folks, I think we did some damage here. The winner, though, <sighs> but the Buffalo Trace Old Fashioned Mix. You can buy it at the gift shop. It's great. Is it only available in the gift shop, Will? That's where I bought it. So, folks, uh, hope you enjoyed these. Check out these mixers. Any of them mm -hmm. are actually great for the summer months. When it's hot outside, you want a cocktail, you want a refreshing mm -hmm. bourbon drink, and, like, I'm not going to drink neat while I'm grilling. Get some of these. Throw some fridge ice in it. Mix it up. None of these will treat you poorly. Give us a thumbs up, a subscription, ring the bell. Hey, and go ahead and leave us a comment down below about what your favorite old-fashioned mixer is, and we'll try to source it and do it on a future episode to compete against the winner here. Right, unless you live in Pennsylvania, because I don't trust anything that comes out of Pennsylvania. Yeah, they probably just have rolling rock. Yeah, there's, like an, there's like an Eric from Pennsylvania. Cannot trust him.